Hi, and thanks for watching Parks in Your Pocket. Well, today is day one of my 30 day keto chow drinking challenge. Um, doing a ketogenic diet, and I weighed myself this morning, and I'm exactly um, 381.4 pounds is my starting weight. By the end of this video, I'm going to be doing this entire week up until next Wednesday. If I have any progress just over this week, any kind of exercise and stuff that I do over the week, I'm going to let you guys know about. This is a snickerdoodle flavor with coffee. So, it's pretty good. I'm going to stick to this and see what kind of results I get after a month of Keto Chow. All right, well, I think I survived day one. Um, my stomach growled a little bit, but I just drank some water and that totally went away. What I did today was I had three shakes, just like this one. Um, and uh, after I would drink one, I would just make another one in the same blender bottle. Um, so this is a, a blender bottle. Yeah, blender bottle, bang. What it does is it has a little, uh, like a, a spring ball inside of it. So when you shake it, uh, all the powder and stuff mix up, mixes up really well. So, so far, so good. I, uh, I made some coffee this morning and I made a few of these with coffee in them instead of water. But uh, these are really handy because they help me know exactly how many calories I'm getting in the day. So I put like two thirds of a cup of heavy cream in here. So I know that that's going to give me about 2,200 calories a day. Uh, which should be well below maintenance for me. Uh, but I've definitely felt satiated all day long. So I haven't been really extre you know, extremely hungry. I just have to break those habits of, oh, I'm gonna get a snack. So since it's day one, uh, what I've done is I went ahead and measured myself and I got a new video that shows all my measurements. Um, so uh, I'm going to put together kind of a little uh, clip that I can put into more videos to say, hey, this is how big I am uh, when I when I ride rides so that in new ride review videos, I'll include this footage so that uh, everybody can know how, how big I am. If I lose a dramatic amount of weight and it's really obvious, I'll probably update this clip. That was day one. Hopefully I'm not singing a different tune by the end of this video. <laughs> All right, well, Day two is in the bag, get ready to have some uh, supper. I got a really big surprise this morning. I, I jumped on the scale and I lost almost six pounds, but I'm assuming that most of that is just water weight. It happened to me the last time I did keto, I lost a lot of weight initially, and then everything kind of slowed down and everything started to be normal. But yeah, five pounds in a day is, is a lot even for me. A lot of the time my, uh, my weight will fluctuate that much like three or four pounds in a day and I'm not too surprised about it. I did have a little bit of um, bathroom problems. <laughs> I mean a massive change in your diet is pretty much going to do that. Um, it wasn't like I was sprinting for the for the commode. Definitely different. <laughs> hopefully uh, hopefully I can keep the uh, keep the weight loss going. Doing it this way is a lot easier for me to stick to, so fingers crossed. Tomorrow there's actually a YouTuber meetup that I'm going to try and go to and maybe see some other people here in the Orlando area that I can uh, I can collaborate with maybe on some videos. I don't know. Um, I'll talk to them and see if anybody's interested. All right, so it's day three. I weighed myself and so far after two days, I've uh, I've lost like nine pounds, but probably mostly water weight at this point. It's, I don't think I'm losing a lot of uh, of like actual heft, just uh, just water that's holding carbohydrates in my system. So get all the all the carbohydrates flushed out of my system, and then uh, the weight loss will definitely slow down quite a bit. Um, still going strong here. Uh, as I said, I had a few a few bathroom issues yesterday, but nothing too bad today. Um, not yet, anyway. Fingers crossed. So today I'm going to be going to a YouTuber meetup. YouTubers of Orlando, uh, their Facebook page is having a little meetup. There's going to be 
apparently like 20 people there if everybody shows up that says they're going to show up. So uh, I'm going to bring you guys along and take a look at that and see some other people here in the Orlando area that have YouTube channels. So one of the things about doing keto is a lot of the times when you go out to social events and stuff, they're at restaurants like this. So I'm, I'm going to a YouTuber meetup and it's at a pizza place, the Lazy Moon Pizzeria or whatever back there. At least I think it's a pizza place. And I mean, I can't, I can't eat anything here, obviously. So I have to change my mindset to think that, uh, to, to not think that social activities are all about food, which is really common. It's, it's amazing how many things that you, you don't want to go to when you do keto just because you know there won't be anything there for you to eat and, um, and you don't want to put anybody out or make anybody make a special accommodation for you. Due to how keto work, it works, you have to be really strict about what you eat. So, yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know if there will be anything here I can eat, but I wouldn't be eating it anyway because I'm on the keto, uh, the keto chow only diet for 30 days. So I'll probably just get water or a Diet Coke or something. I just got back from my uh, YouTuber meetup. I met a lot of really interesting people. A lot of people who had some very popular channels. Uh, we met in a pizza shop, which, I mean, with this going on, it's a bit uh, a bit rough to sit there while everybody eats, eats really good smelling pizza. Society basically in general thinks that um, food and social activity go hand in hand. So, sorry, I haven't. I haven't eaten today, or I haven't eaten uh, lunch, and it's like five o'clock because I was sitting there waiting. Like, especially with keto, a lot of the times when I was doing it before, people would tell me, oh, just try this, you're gonna really like this, like this cake, or this dip, or these chips, or like different things like that. Oh, you have to try it. As the person being told to try it, you're like, well, if I don't try it, they're going to be disappointed or they're gonna think that I'm a jerk or something. It's a fact of, of life, unfortunately. If you're doing a special diet that's really restrictive, that means you can't have carbs. Nothing against them, you just can't have carbs. So a few people were like, oh, you're not getting pizza or whatever. Most of the people I talked to, didn't. it didn't even cross their minds because we were there for like four hours. Everybody ate their pizza when they first came and then we were able to talk uh, afterwards, so I was just able to kind of just get a Coke or a Diet Coke and just drink that instead of getting pizza. And I had a great time. I had a fantastic time just going out, getting out of the house, being social, and uh, still was able to stick to my diet, even though I went to a pizza shop. You know, I'm kind of hungry. I didn't actually bring a shake with me. And on the drive home, I was passing like Chipotle. I was like, oh man, I could really go for some Chipotle right now. And I'm like, oh man, ah. Uh, I gotta keep I gotta keep going being able to hit the hard reset and just say well no I've, I've set the goal of drinking keto chow for one month solid for every meal I already had decided what I was going to have for supper so or for lunch so all I had to do was just get past all the temptation get home and drink it makes things really simple for me and lets me do my math and it's keeping me satiated unless I spend a couple of extra hours somewhere that I hadn't planned on it but I had a really good time talking with those folks and um, it was definitely worth it even though by the end of it I was getting kind of hungry good morning from Universal Studios Orlando so uh, today I decided to get out of the house and just go and film some videos and get some exercise and walk around the uh, or walk around the parks at least for the morning maybe maybe for the mid-afternoon it's gonna be a hot one though so I need to make sure to, to stay hydrated I did bring um, I did bring a keto chow shake with me. I wrapped it in a towel with some uh, some ice packs, so hopefully that uh, that keeps it nice and cool for the day. But it's going to be a hot one, so I don't know. Download the app well ahead of time. Get familiar with it. There's obviously a lot of walking when you go to a theme park. You can always ask at the front of the queue whether the ride has a modified seat. So we should have a new batch of videos coming out here fairly soon. Uh, I am still drinking nothing but keto chow, so what I've done was I, I packed a, uh, a towel around a blender bottle with a couple ice packs in it, and then I put a couple of Ziploc bags around it so that it didn't leak inside my bag. Um, so I'm gonna see how that worked out. It feels like it's pretty cool. I mean, the air inside these bags is, is pretty cold, so uh, should hopefully be good. 
Uh, I got here around, I put these in here around uh, 8.30 and it's about noon right now and this is very, very cold. So this would be a good lunch. But uh, anyway, so I'm wandering around um, Toon Lagoon right now. Uh, probably going to jump on a couple of my favorite rides here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some new videos out to you guys. I tried to fit on Hagrid's again because I heard that uh, if you don't sit all the way down in the seat and you kind of hold yourself up out of the seat uh, a little bit, you can have a little bit more luck on the motorbike side. And it felt like I probably did. I, maybe maybe like an eighth of an inch, but it was a very, very small, slight kind of thing. It does seem like there is something to that. Um, I did see some of the um, some of the crew members that were working at the Hagrid's ride telling people not to push down on someone else's bar, um, which is kind of weird. Um, because that's pretty much an accepted kind of standard kind of thing. But especially with Hagrid's, they're worried about it breaking down and people being stuck on the ride and being extremely uncomfortable sitting there for like 20 minutes, jammed in there, losing uh, blood flow in their legs or whatever because they got jammed in there so hard. So they are kind of cracking down on that right now. Uh, it's probably going to be really hard for them to keep cracking down on that indefinitely. So it might not be an issue when you come to visit the parks. but. Today, that's what they told me, that I talked to somebody to see if they could push the bar down, and they're like, no, we don't even let other people do it right now. Hagrid's is kind of not the best for big and tall people, which is really kind of silly. Uh, if you're a big guy, you want to sit closer to the window on the far side of the car, uh, all in one giant theater. So it's a, it's a very big screen, and it's a very good experience. All right, well, I have walked about six miles today and got about 14,000 steps in, so I am just about ready to go home now. I have sweat, I have drenched myself on Popeye's Bilge Rat barges, I have made several videos, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can keep this up, you know. It's a Sunday, it was a little, little, uh, little crowded, but it wasn't ridiculous. It's a Sunday, uh, almost August, it's still, it's still July. But um, yeah, now I'm just gonna go home, relax a little bit, get some air conditioning, and, and just try and make sure I didn't get sunburned. So, I put sunscreen on, but I don't know. Popeyes could have washed it off. Yeah, honk honk, I get it. It's pretty late at night. It's about 11.30 or so. Um, I, uh, I got back safe from Universal, of course, and uh, got my keto chow, keto chow and drank it. I've had the hiccups for hours now. Um, and so I got, I got my uh, my keto chow and I drank it, but I was extremely famished by the time I I got home. Um, it was kind of kind of uh, expected because <laughs> I mean I walked six and a half miles grand total once I totaled everything up, um, which yeah uh, if you're on a calorie deficit that's going to uh, that's going to make you very very hungry, and hopefully it's going to make you uh, burn fat off of your tum tum but anyway yeah so today was <clears throat> stupid hiccups a lot of fun i got a lot of video shot i'll have to do a whole bunch of editing on those uh so don't expect that don't expect those out uh, right away but um i'm going to kind of edit them and put them out and just keep doing these um, these weekly kind of vlog videos uh, about my experience just trying this 30 days of keto chow and just switching over to the ketogenic diet so yeah today was a a lot a lot of fun um lots of great exercise hi puppy so it's the morning of day five i just got you know i got back from universal yesterday i walked uh walked a lot like six and a half miles and this is this is bauer by the way he is making a lot of noises because he has food stuck in his face because he's he doesn't brush his teeth very well. Um, there you go. But, uh, so, uh, I'm a little sore from yesterday, but I did wind up losing about two pounds, uh, 1.9 pounds, and I still have the hiccups. What is with this? Um, but, yeah, so, day five, still going strong, still going to eat my keto chow. Uh, only 20, uh, 26 more days to go. Yay! 
And today I'm I'm just working from home. I might go and um, go to a board game night uh, tonight. But uh, <laughs> that was that was the dog. The dog. <laughs> he has food stuck in his cheeks. Um, but yeah, so I might go to a board game night tonight. I don't know yet. Um, but probably, probably, I like to design games and I, I go and I, I have people play my stuff. So we'll see. And I, I play other other designers' games too. So that's uh, that's one of my other ho hobbies. Okay, so tonight uh, I decided to go out. Um, I I drank my keto chow before I left. It's about 11 o'clock right now, so uh, I left around supper time, and I went to a board game prototype night. Something else that I do is I design board games, so I have one game that's that's out uh, called Grifters, um, and it's expansion Grifters Nexus. Um, so I designed uh, Grifters uh, a few years ago, and I have several other games that um, that are in prototype stages right now, so I was taking uh, my new one, uh, Wonder Walls out to play test it a little bit because uh, I I have a little bit interest from some publishers and they want uh, they want an updated version of it so kind of have to focus on that too a little bit um, so it's a good distraction for me uh, so uh, yeah I had to drive past a, a lot of fast food places and a lot of temptation uh, but I was able to make it there and back and once I was was there in the game shop uh, working with the other guys on their prototypes. Um, it was definitely kept me kept me focused on what was in front of me and uh, kept my mind busy so I wasn't constantly just kind of hungry. All right, so it's the morning of day six. I just weighed myself. Um, yesterday, I weighed 369.4, and today, I weigh 369.4. So uh, everything's kind of slowed down uh, around day six. So I lost uh, about 11 pounds. Uh, and then just kind of, I'm kind of just stopping for a day, probably. That's to be expected. I don't expect to just keep losing like four pounds a day or a pound a day. A pound a day would be awesome, but probably more realistic goal is to try and get like a quarter of a pound. There's no real way to control it. I doing everything I can. I'm drinking nothing but uh, ketogenic shakes and I'm controlling my calories, but Sometimes I drink more water, sometimes I don't get rid of more water, and um, yeah, so sometimes I just I just don't go down on a day. And that's completely normal, I can't, you know, beat myself up over that because it's it's a bonus to, to lose a lot of weight on a day, it's not a given. Still going strong, still gonna, gonna drink my breakfast today, and um, you know, I'm, I'm really hopeful, so the thing I did yesterday that was a little bit different is I didn't get any kind of exercise. I didn't go for a walk or anything. Uh, so maybe if I if I did that, just a little bit more exercise, I might see a little bit more momentum. Since I work from home and I kind of just stayed at home and then I went to my board game prototype night and that's just sitting and thinking. So, um, yeah, you know, I didn't I didn't expend a lot of energy yesterday so I wasn't expecting to lose a lot of weight I was hoping for not the exact same weight as yesterday but eh, it's fine um, I'll just try it and do better today and tomorrow and the next day and the next day all right well this is the end of day six and the video this video is coming out tomorrow for me so um, I'm just gonna end the video here uh, the next video will pick up tomorrow so Wednesday and it'll go Wednesday to Wednesday so uh, today I didn't have any uh, weight loss but that's fine I had a enormous week um, over 11 pounds lost so I'm, I'm very happy with that I actually I think it was exactly 11 pounds but um, yeah so it's the evening right now um, tomorrow is Wednesday and it'll start a new video if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you'll see next week's video which will come out next Wednesday I uh, I did get confirmation today that I am now a keto chow affiliate so 
uh, if you want to support the channel and you want to try Keto Chow with me, um, there's going to be a, a link in the description. Um, and then you can use the uh, coupon code Parks in your pocket 10, all one word, to get 10% off your first order, which is actually pretty good. Uh, so these things are working really well for me so far. Um, and I, I definitely recommend them if you're interested in doing keto. I'm not trying to push this down anybody's throat and say you have to buy this. It is just something that works for me. And I want to make sure that everybody knows it's a, a possibility and an option if you need to lose weight before a trip and you want to do it simply. Now, is it a lot of fun to only eat the, the one type of thing? No. Mm -mm. I would much rather have eaten pizza at my meetup and I would much rather have stopped and, and gotten Chipotle. But I would also much rather lose weight than do those things. So while it's not fun, it's the least painful way I could go. Um, like imagine if I went to Chipotle and was like, I'll take the salad and you know, look you know, sad at the burritos. Getting away from that and getting away from that temptation is actually definitely helping me quite a bit. So thank you guys for your support. Um, and there's quite a few things I'm working on right now that I will, I will announce soon. Uh, things like, um, you know, like a calendar for what videos are coming out and when they're coming out and, and stuff like that. So keep, uh, keep your ear to the ground for that stuff. And again, thank you for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave, and I'll see you real soon. I also wanted to give a shout out to Brian, who stopped me here in the parks when I first got into the parks, and uh, said thank you for making the videos, and you know, he recognized me here in Universal. That really made my day, so thanks, Brian.